So uh, we did the first part. We downloaded everything. We downloaded the uh, JDK. We downloaded NetBeans. We got all those installed. Now our task is, well, I have all this pre-created material that I've kind of adapted and modified and worked on over the course of the years. And um, it's going to allow you to have like videos. You can do exercises. You can do programs online. And it's going to check to make sure your programs are meeting the criteria and give you some feedback. And we can do all that with our NetBeans. But we have to do a few things first to get these two things to kind of talk together. So um, visually, and I'm working on my little whiteboard here. Oh, I need a little pen. Uh, visually, we have two things out here. This is a this is the cloud, right? So I have all the materials up on the internet, uh, posted on there. There's a, all these exercise kind of graders online already, or kind of feedback givers. Um, and then we have your computer here. And so really, our goal for this video, and that's that is actually a computer. Trust me, um, is to get these two things. So in order to do that, we need to do, a, we have a few steps that we need to do. We need to, one, we're going to register online. So we're going to create like a username and a login on an online platform. Two, we need to install the plugin. This is me trying to write on the screen. It looks okay, I guess. Um, not Handwriting's just slightly better than that already. Uh, so we're going to register, we're going to install the plugin. We need to uh, log in. And I think that might be about it. So I'm going to work through this on my computer. I haven't installed it on this particular computer before. Uh, so let's take a look at doing that. Um, let's see, I'm going to include links to this in the description below. It's going to have uh, documents. And I think majorly the one we want to look at is this first time installation guide, uh, which you can kind of follow through. You can honestly follow through this follow through with this on your own. Um, it's just got a few things that we'll have to do as far as uh, registering. So let's go up here and let's make a new, we're gonna go to website, MOOC.fi. MOOC stands for Massive Open Online Course. FI is Finland, because it's from, kind of, I developed this out of the University of Finland. And let's see what we have here. It's a long, so yeah, so get to this page. It isn't uh, finished to begin with, so we have to switch it to English. And let's just do a sign up thing here. And I'm going to make a new one. I will make my C modin at Gan Academy. Gee, I don't know if I need to put all this stuff, but I will anyways. That's fine. And then strong password. We'll type in a password that is um, very, very strong. Hopefully yours will be a little more strong, a little stronger than mine, but I'm not really going to use this account. So let's see. We create the account. Yeah, we'll save that one. Good. Okay, so we're actually we're created into a account. So we'll basically just need to register on here. And that's, so that's step number one of our three steps. I think that's step number one is completed. Now what we need to do is we need to go back into our TMC, or excuse me, go back into our NetBeans, and we're going to need to add in a plugin. So we basically need to add an extra tool into our NetBeans. And so if we go to Tools, go down to Plugins. I'm going to follow my own guide here, because I think it's there's just a few things we need to make sure we're clicking right. Um, and so this is... Same exact thing, right? Tools, plugins. Now we're into here. We need to go to settings. So this button over here, settings. And then we're going to go down and hit add. Actually, let's, yeah, add. And we're going to call this uh, TMC. It's test my code, TMC. And for the URL, so we're basically adding a, a new plugin that didn't already come with, the, with our NetBeans. And we need to say, where are we going to get information about this plugin from? And so let's see if we go down to here. We're going to find the link right here. So let's select this. I'm just going to copy that and paste it in directly, which there's no spaces. Let's hit OK. OK. And so what we're going to do, all this is doing is just saying, hey, um, you know, there's all these plugins already available. Hey, you missed one. Here's where you could find another plugin. Here's where you could find the TMC plugin. And then if we do this kind of sort by name, we can scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. We should find the new test my code plugin right here. We want to click it. This, we want to install. Next, I accept all, I install. And let's take the, oh, it's going to install fast. Now, if you didn't install the right JDK, you might get some errors in here. Um, this should, if you've installed the right JDK, it should work fine. If you get something where it's like Unpacker 200 is missing or something, talk to me because there's something you might have installed the wrong version of the JDK. But hope, I, I hope, hope, hope that that isn't an issue for you. Let's hit continue and we'll restart now. And so that's actually the majority of this. Uh, 
installed this. We followed all these instructions. Um, we don't need to worry about Sublime. Now let's get back into here. This is going to restart on its own. So I just went and opened it, and I think it said it was supposed to restart, but it didn't look like it actually restarted. I had to reopen it. Um, and now it's kind of updating some stuff, unpacking all this. fi.helsinki, that's very excellent. That's the stuff we want. Um, and it's just kind of going to update our IDE here. Hopefully it'll load up fast. And there's just really one last step here that we need to do. Cool, so let's take a look. Let's see, it should be opening. Great, we're gonna provide some anonymous data. Really helpful. Perfect, that's really what we wanna to get to is right here. So remember you created that uh, password and you use that email and you created that password in the previous step. We're just gonna enter that here at Dan Academy. G. Password, password, login. And so what this is doing, we're, we're starting to connect these things. We add the plugin onto our IDE, and now we're connecting it to the web server to, to kind of work together here. Mine might be going a little bit slow. Okay, this computer is slow. Let's see. Okay, excellent. If we have installed the right, if we use the right username and everything set up, we should be right here. And if you follow my steps, I hope you are in the same spot here. Um, but guaranteed there's going to be some sort of um, pausing. Hey, I know that guy. Coding with Mr. Mode, and that's going to be me. So we're going to click this. We're going to add it. And let's see what we're going to see here. There's a few different options. Oh, I'm going to hide some of this stuff because we don't need you want to be in this OOP programming with Java. I might change the name for this one to make it a little bit clearer that this is our course. Um, but we're going to select this first one. So probably when you see this, I'm going to make this a lot clearer. It'll probably say GAN coding, um, and let's just select this. And now, okay, excellent, perfect. So now we're, we're in our organization coding with Mr. Moden, OOP programming with Java, which is the name of this course. All this stuff is great. Preferred uh, error message language. I'm gonna assume we don't want to finish. I'm gonna go with English on that one. Boom. It says requires a restart, but that's okay. So cool, and now what you're gonna see here is that, well, there's a couple things. This is gonna pop up and that's great. Um, you can now see we have this TMC is now one of the options on our toolbar, right? That was not previously there, but now our plugin is up and working. This has actually worked out really well for me. It's first try. It doesn't always work out like this. Um, and so these are this is 106 exercises. You don't need to download every single one. If you want to, you can. If you have limited internet or limited space, you can just download a few at a time. Um, I'm gonna do uns so we could unselect all, and now we're not downloading any. I'm gonna make a quick separate video about this to show how this might work. Oh, I'm gonna use a sandbox one as well. And we're gonna download this. Perfect. So everything should everything's working really well. Um, yeah, and so let me I'm gonna pause this for a second, and we're gonna see all these projects. You see, it's downloading them up here on the bottom. You can see what it's all downloading. All these little exercises. And so what we're going to see is all these exercises are going to start to pop up our projects on the left. And that's where the magic, as much magic as we have, is going to happen right there. Cool. Okay, so we can see we have a bunch of projects here. Um, what you might find, if you downloaded a whole bunch of them, you might end up with a lot and a lot of projects here, which is actually going to eat into your memory. Um, so what we can do if you open up, if you download them all or you just end up with too many projects open here, we can hit select this. We can close, actually, we can just close one at a time, select and close, or select a whole bunch, close a whole bunch. And so that'll save us a little bit of memory. Hopefully we'll see this number should, this kind of blue weird thing should, uh, we should be using less memory. Yeah, should drop down eventually. Um, so yeah, so we can, and I'm going to make one third last video showing how to do this. And maybe I'll show an example of running one of these first ones. Um, but the last thing I'll say on this one is if you know we just closed a bunch of programs, we need to open them again later. We go to TMC, and we can do open closed exercises. And so, oh, hey, look, we downloaded all these exercises. We didn't um, um, we close them. We downloaded them and then closed them. We want to access them again. We can just reopen them right there. So it's super easy to kind of close and just open the ones that you need at the time. Uh, my computer's pretty slow, 
So uh, it's helpful for me to have a bunch, to not have all of them open. I'm going to keep these closed. Make sure you close them. Don't delete them. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's the end of that video. Uh, let's see. We did our checklist here. We installed our plugin. We logged in. Maybe the fourth step would be like downloading exercises. I'm going to show you the fourth, the last step, which is to actually um, run a program. And I'll show you like how these two parts kind of connect together in this last video.